Manchester, the European Commission has uh, presented its uh, energy efficiency action plan uh, a month ago. How do you see that? I think it's yet to be seen. Um, the energy efficiency plan says very little. It was an action plan. It was downgraded to a plan, and I think that tells us something. We have a two-year delay. The European Council has said that it will revisit progress in 2013. We can wait, or we can take the view that that is an invitation to the stakeholders, to the NGOs, my world, to the businesses to come together and design the policies which could produce a binding target in 2013. That sounds very optimistic, but at the same time uh, it means that two more years are lost in this discussion. I'm not sure two more years would be lost. I think the reason the Energy Efficiency Plan is a relatively weak document, the reason the European Council have postponed any conclusions about binding targets, is we still don't really know how to do energy efficiency. We need to use these two years to think about the how, the policy detail, the political consensus that will support those policies. That work has not really been done, it wasn't really done in 2008, and it's still lagging behind the other policy areas in low carbon. You work for an NGO. What concretely would you like to happen? Well, I'm very excited about supply side energy efficiency because I think it seems a good area for regulators to make progress, a relatively simple target for regulators. We would also like to see a very large share of the EU budget, both at EU level, into demonstration projects and through the structural funds into deployment projects directed at energy efficiency across the whole scale from supply to demand side. You were saying earlier it's really difficult for governments to, uh, to, to, to really address this issue effectively in terms of energy efficiency. Why is that such a difficult discussion? Energy efficiency on the ground is going to be very bespoke to each individual situation and technology. I think we all understand this when we look at the residential building sector. It's very difficult, I come from London, to imagine the energy efficiency retrofit to many, many different types of London housing. So we all know that it's going to need lots of different business models, lots of different technologies, and very considerable upfront investment with long-term gains. That is an enormous challenge. But I think we also all know it's a essential and we also will know that it's economically beneficial. It's Monday at the start of European Energy Week this week. What, what hopes do you have for the discussions, the many discussions that are going to take place in Brussels this week? My biggest hope is that some of the regions who are here in Brussels will present their experience to the Commission. Um, I know the Brandenburg region in Germany regards itself as a leader in low carbon energy. I also know that they have a very strong message that they have now gone as far as they can go without extra help on issues of permitting, on issues of social acceptance, on issues of finance, on issues of infrastructure planning.